usually wouldn't use a mic because my voice is quite loud. Yes. Shall I use a mic or no? No. no. <laughs> Thank you. Collaboration, strategic partners, friends, associates. That's what we're looking to invite into the movement of Unity University. I've got a little checklist I wanted to share because when I heard Petchy say, this is about action today. Some people might be going, well, how do, how do I decide? How do I pick uh, who to work with? How do I choose the right strategic partner? So if you've got a pen and paper, I'm going to give you six of the ways that I actually use as a checklist. Because when I first started doing strategic partnering as a banker in Japan, it was very important for me to understand how to put together deals or strategic partners or alliances in a very simple way. Often it would be less than one page. And what I'd like to share with you is the six little things that I use as a little checklist. The first is, are our values aligned? How do we, are our values aligned? And if it's not aligned, then I probably won't want to do deal. And what's beautiful about unity and diversity, so often our values can be aligned with so many wonderful organizations. So the second question I would ask is, can we leverage together? Now leverage, what does that mean? Leverage, it means being able to do more with less. We can leverage people's intelligence, their wisdom, their network, their money. There's many ways to leverage. And to effectively have collaboration and partnerships that's worthwhile, one plus one equals what? See, in math, it's one plus one is two. But in one plus one is eleven. And that's what I'm looking for, is a partnership, a strategic partnership, a relationship that becomes more than the simple one plus one. The number three question is, does this opportunity steer me or sink me? What does that mean? It means not putting all your eggs in one basket. You don't bet everything on one little deal or one little project or one little situation. So there is an, an element of risk mitigation, risk management. I used to be a risk manager for a bank. And so that was a big part of any type of partnership that could work is that we've got to know our downside. And it's nice to be able to connect with somebody to express your concerns, express your fears. Because if it's expressed, if we go into vulnerability, we can actually move it aside by expressing it, especially if you're missing. And so value, leverage, does this steer me or not sink me? The next one is so important for me right now because it's so beautiful because I, I love working with youth. And youth have to have the space to fail. In fact, Steve Jobs says, fail fast, fail frequently, fail forward. So in this number four is does the learning, does the specific learning in the project motivate me? The students yesterday, they didn't have to be perfect. They learned. In fact, I'm going to be offering the opportunity to do a debrief with the students because I think it will be so valuable that they have an opportunity to debrief the evening, to be able to express what did they do well and what could they do even better, and then be able to pat themselves on the back and say, congratulations, they really did well because we developed some skills. And that's such a key component these days is skills development. We can all develop new skills. Because if I was to step back to leverage a little bit, number two, the leverage. We have an opportunity right now because of the way that technology is coming into play. There are billion dollar businesses that want to invest in whatever project we're involved with. We call that mobile and mobile apps. We call that the, the cloud. And we call that social media. And those are three vehicles. That's like having billion dollar businesses investing in our project. That's huge leverage. Now it just so happens that many of the youth, many of the teenagers, understand that a whole lot better than us who might be over 50, 60, or 70 years old. So that's one of the reasons why that relationship can be so beautiful. Have I gone too long? I have. So that's four. The last one, which is coming back to what they've been talking about. Okay. Well, fifth one. Keep one of them now. Fifth one is does, what's the ROI? the return on our investment. 
And that's where we get into measures. That's when we get into milestones. That's when we get into clarity. And that idea of being able to be very clear and specific on our goals is so essential in being able to have our checklist to be able to take on the projects that inspire us. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Lee.